Hello everyone and welcome to our next Edge Shorts session. Edge Shorts is a community for educators and school leaders devoted to sharing insights and ideas through bite-sized power-packed free webinars meant to inspire conversation, encourage innovation, and create connections. The topic for today's session is going to be the GMAS 2020-2021 Blueprints and Best Practices. So, to introduce our presenter, that's going to be my colleague Darcy, who will be providing all the critical information about this year's assessment. But before we get to that, if you have any questions during this uh, webinar, please leave those in the comments and our team will be able to answer those. And if you're looking at this video later on, you can leave your comments in the section, comment section below and we can get back to those at any point and answer your questions promptly in a timely manner. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce my colleague Darcy. Hello everyone, welcome to another Ed Shorts session. In today's session, we will discuss all the information available about 2021 Georgia Milestones Assessments, such as changes in blueprints, policy changes, testing windows, and other details. In the next 10 minutes, we will explore some of these crucial areas of this year's GMA's test. Georgia Milestones are primarily online tests now and assess student proficiencies on grade level skills outlined in the state learning standards. Both the end of course and end of grade assessments are affected this year due to the pandemic. The grade weightage of the EOC assessments has been lowered from 20% to 0.01%. Students' promotion or retention in grades is also not going to be tied to Georgia Milestones scores. Schools will consider feedback from teachers and parents, placement committees and students' class performance and formative assessment tools to make these decisions. Another significant change is in the flexibility in choosing the testing windows. Schools can either do it during winter or choose spring testing, and the assessments can also happen during afternoon or evening time slots. The regular Georgia Milestones EOG tests consists of three sections. Section 1 will be given on day 1 for a maximum of 90 minutes. Sections 2 and 3 will be given over one or two days and take up to 80 minutes each. Both math and English language arts assessments had many tech-enhanced items, including MCQs, drag and drop, EBSRs, multi-part questions, and more. But this year, the test times are being reduced by making the following changes. 1. In mathematics, technology-enhanced items will replace all constructed response items in all grades. Number two, some of the constructed response items will also be replaced with technology enhanced items in ELA in all grades. Given the importance of student writing, section one, reading and evidence-based writing, and the narrative writing prompt will remain unchanged. Two-point constructed response items in sections two and three, which assess reading comprehension, will be replaced with technology enhanced items. Number three, the total number of points in both science and social studies in all grades will be reduced. Number four, norm referenced items in all grades are being eliminated. Depth of knowledge levels are essential considerations in GMA's test questions. As students go from level one to level four, questions get challenging as they require more reasoning to answer. Level 1 questions require students to recall information from some parts of the question. Level 2 questions require students to use basic reasoning like describing and thinking about the question. Level 3 questions require complex reasoning and ask students to provide evidence, explain, justify. Level 4 questions require extended reasoning and ask students to relate ideas, plan, create, investigate. There are several resources to help students prepare for the end of course assessments. The GMA's exemplars are also available on the Department of Education website to familiarize students with the items and offer scoring rubrics for sample responses. 
There are also some commercially available programs to help prepare students for the assessments with rigorous practice and targeted remediation for their skill gaps. With the readily available practice tests that mirror the GMA's test blueprints, you can assess students' skill gaps and also provide realistic test practice. You can also use these available mimicking items as bell ringers in classroom work during regular classroom sessions to improve student performance. Drive remedials with supplemental study resources to students in all your RTI groups to address their weak areas. DRC Beacon Assessments were made available from September 2020 to formative and interim assessment needs of Georgia schools. These are computer adaptive assessments that align difficulty level as per students' responses. They measure progress throughout the school year and are being offered on the same platform as the GMAs with all accommodations. This tool, however, will not be used for high-stakes tests designed for student or school accountability. Testlets that can assess domains are also available along with the flexibility to assign the complete subject's content tests. Teachers can develop targeted remedial practice for students on specific problem areas after these formative and interim tests by using supplemental study resources. As indicated earlier, the 2021 Georgia Milestones testing window is flexible, and schools can choose to start them as early as winter mid-month or later in spring. This year's spring administration window will start as early as March 2021 and end in April 2021. The winter administration window was from November to December 2020. Georgia Milestones have four achievement levels. Number one, distinguished learner. The students exhibit advanced proficiency and a high level of learning and skills necessary as specified in Georgia Milestone standards and are well prepared for the next grade level or course and are prepared for college and career readiness. Number two, proficient learner. The students exhibit proficiency and a high level of learning and skills necessary as specified in Georgia Milestone Standards. Number three, developing learner. The students exhibit partial proficiency and a high level of learning and skills necessary as specified in Georgia Milestone Standards. The students need additional academic support to ensure success in the next grade level or course and to be on track for college and career readiness. Number four, beginning learner. The students do not exhibit proficiency and a high level of learning and skills necessary as specified in Georgia Milestone Standards. Calculators are an allowable tool, but not necessary for any of the GMA's items. Let's run through some of the allowed uses. Grades 3 to 5, EOG, no calculators allowed. Grade 6, EOG. Basic four-function calculator with square root and percentage functions. Grade 7 and 8 EOG, scientific calculator or basic calculator. Coordinate algebra EOC, graphing calculator or scientific calculator. Algebra 1 EOC, graphing calculator or scientific calculator. In end-of-grade assessments for ELA, two sets of checklists are available to students, one for narrative writing and one for reading and evidence-based writing. These checklists help students monitor their writing either during assessments or in their daily writing and ensure they are not missing important aspects in their response. Teachers can also take advantage of these checklists to grade student work in class. These are not comprehensive checklists, but are a broad overview of the expectations for student responses in that grade level. They also offer guidance for scoring based on the rubrics. We hope this was helpful. It is now time for our Q&A sections. Feel free to share your questions in the comments. Thank you for joining us today in our Ed Shorts session on 2021 GMA's tests. We will return soon with more updates.